always happens when I end up falling out with somebody, right? I always be like, damn, I ain't got no friends, right? And my friends be like, bitch, what are you talking about? <laughs> And today I'm back with another video. So I'm gonna do a mukbang for y'all. I'm gonna give y'all a series of videos. Y'all know how I do when I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. You get what I'm saying? Um, so DDG, you know, and Riley got a little something going on, and I just felt like it was the perfect time to speak about, you know, myself and me and friends and things like that. But I'm gonna say a prayer. So, now, I have had a series of friends all of my life. You know what I'm saying? I got friends that I went to high school with. We still friends to this day. Uh, I got friends that, um, that I grew up with. You know what I'm saying? In the neighborhood. We still friends to this day. So, I always had, I don't have friends. But it always happened. This is a shrimp quesadilla, by the way. My roommate cook. Mm. Lord Jesus, big fence. So, this always happens when I end up falling out with somebody, right? I always be like, damn, I ain't got no friends, right? And my friends be like, bitch, what are you talking about? So, yesterday, one of my other friends, she's a cook. I went and got some food from her yesterday because I was in Charlotte. And she said... Bro, you need to be hit. You need to hit me up because you know I don't have no friend. <laughs> and I said, you know, I just said the same shit. <laughs> so, one of my other friends said the same thing. Say I A. <clears throat> you know I don't have no friends. You're the only friend I got. Did I realize? It ain't that I can't keep friends. Friends can't keep me, period. But um, I just don't get along with certain people, right? So y'all know at this point now, it's all the truth. I don't care about sugar and shit. There's a lot of people in this world. You're not going to get along with everybody. That ain't even realistic. People fall out all the time. But there's a reason why people fall out. Me, I've fallen out with a lot of people, not a lot, but a good bit, because of how I push their ass to work, right? Um, I'm not somebody that like to kick it all day and do nothing. Like, I've never been that person. Even in my depressed stages. I'd rather be by myself than kick it with you because I'm trying to find my way. I haven't always, <clears throat> you know, worked and I haven't always did YouTube. I haven't always been on point. But when I was, I was trying to help whoever was with me. Now that has forever been my downfall. I get to starting something. I'm good at it. I want to help other people. Preferably the friends closest to me. One of my hugest downfalls was me not being wrapped too tight. Trying to help somebody else and me not being wrapped too tight don't even make sense. Because you can't help somebody if you ain't all the way there. You can't help somebody if you ain't all the way there. Because you can't help somebody if you ain't all the way there. Facts. But I pushed a lot of people away because of that reason. I'm going to give you an example. You spend the night in my house and you just laid out just... I'm waking up 8 9. You just laid out, not doing shit. Just being lazy. I'm, I'm telling you I'm going to have a problem with that, bro. Because I just... I, a, I don't see why 
you just laying out lazy like it ain't nothing to do it's always something to do and you don't want to do nothing like I, ca I cannot get with that type of person also if I'm working or doing whatever and you can't keep up I can't fuck with that either right so I figure shit I just can't have friends because but it's a privilege to be around me you get what I'm saying? If you, this is how everybody should feel about themselves. You get what I'm saying? Period. You are a person that, that, uh, has value to yourself. It should be a privilege for anybody to be around you. Period. Um, that's a privilege for you to kick it with me. So, it's just like, you know, you, I just don't like lazy people. Uh, I ain't gonna care. And like, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna act like we all don't have our moments of being lazy and stuff. And I'm not about to act like I just perfectly get up every morning and I'm just perfectly on point with everything. However, if you want to work with me, be around me, you got to put in just as much work as me. Because if not, we're going to fall out. That's just that on that. <laughs> you know, with me facing my truths about myself, that's one of my truths. I can't be around people who don't want to grind. I can't be around people who don't value themselves. I just can't fucking do it. So, I won't be falling out with anybody else. <laughs> and... Ain't gonna be nobody else. You know what I'm saying? Because unless you already, like, you have people where, I have people I've worked with for years. We still working together. But they on point with they shit. And when I'm ready to go, they ready to go. Yeah, my editor, for example, I've known her for several years now. I told her about what I wanted to do last week. And we got it done that week. <laughs> We got it done that week. Girl. She ain't complain. She didn't gripe. She said, what you need? Okay, this is how much I want. Okay, let's do it. She like, you ain't even got to rush to pay me. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like I want to do it. She wanted to work. She was bored. We all bored going through that shit right now. She was like, sis, let's get to it. Bet. We did it, and it was successful as hell. Okay? And I'm very, 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 very grateful for her. Destiny, I'm very, 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 very grateful for you. Because you can keep up with me. A lot of people come. And it's okay. You know, but... I said, I got to do a video on me not being able to keep friends. And I understand that I'm putting all this sour cream on this quesadilla. But I promise you I'm going to drink my detox tea and work out right after I'm done with this shit. <laughs> I work out and I detox to eat what I want. And a lot of times I don't have all this sour cream. Let me tell you something. This is too good. I got to eat this sour cream. I'm going to pay for it later. <clears throat> but um yeah man I just had to share that with y'all you know what I'm saying I'm gonna start sharing a lot of shit with y'all about how I feel about me you know I try to give you a better understanding of why shit be happening with me the way it do you know what I'm saying like, you know some people gonna get it some ain't some people like it some people ain't it's alright you know, this is my store. And I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. That was so damn good. I'm probably going to get y'all a muck baby every day. She cook every day. But, I just had to let y'all know, friends can't keep me. <laughs> no. For real, it's not real friendships. You know what I'm saying? 
to be in a relationship, to be in a friendship, they all got the same guidelines. I want to be around people that motivate me. I want to be around people who want to get motivated. All that sensitive. It's just, there's so much to be somebody's friend nowadays. You know what I'm saying? And I need to understand, everybody ain't your friend. Some people just there for a season. Some people just there to help you in a moment. Some people, you just there to help for, or you just there to help. God, I feel like God bring us all to each other to help each other. And after we help each other, our task is done. Our task is done. Sometimes, with some people, they actually stay around. Those are the people that's actually good people. And the ones that don't, let their ass go. Period. You know what I'm saying? But um, I'm very grateful for the people in my life. I'm very grateful for the people that have come into my life who taught me these lessons. I ain't got to fall out with nobody else. You taught me all the lessons I need to learn. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But this was so damn good. You know. Whew. Um, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Got some reactions coming. Also, my my coming out of the darkness video. You know what I'm saying? Uh, letting y'all know the growth I had and what I've been doing to lose weight and things like that. And just to become a better person. To have a clear head like I do right now. Okay? I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. We on to the next video. Peace.